Hi guys, hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining the channel for the very first time, my name is Onomi and this is Onomi Empire. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much, you guys are amazing. So today I want to make a bath soap. This soap is foamy, it cleans the skin and also beautify the skin. Very easy to make. Make sure you watch this video today and I love you! So guys, welcome to another DIY episode with Onomi Senpai. And now let's prep in all our ingredients. The first ingredient I want to use is our which is a great oil. agent that adds hardness and lather to our soaps. It also helps to produce a clean skin and conditioning bar soap. So this palm kernel oil is very, very good for your soap. Now I want to add in another oil for this formulation. The next oil I want to use is our olive, olive oil. oil. Also make a hard and long lasting bar soap with a cleansing lather and also suitable for all skin type. That is why we are using it. If you have sensitive skin, you can also use this particular bar soap. This bar soap, remember we are making a baiting bar soap. This soap is very, very good for all skin types. Now I want to measure out our water uh, for dissolving our lye. I'm going to drop all the measurements Up next on the is screen. our lye, also known as sodium hydroxide or our caustic soda. So this is what we want to use to make our lye solution, which will help our oils mix together to cause a saponification process. And we can make soap. Now I finish adding my lye into a distilled water. Please stir this completely so that it can dissolve. Also, please take note to wear your protective wear when you're handling this chemical. Use a goggle and also a nose mask so that you won't inhale this chemical. Now back to our oil that we measured out earlier. I'm just going to stir this for a while. Our olive oil and our palm kernel oil. Then we add in the next ingredient. If you're loving this video, make sure you like this video, share this video to your friends and family so that YouTube is going to push this video forward for me. Next, we want to add in the next ingredient, which is our uh, sodium silicate. This will help to increase the hardness and durability, also preserving the color and fragrance of our soap. This will also make our soap lather, and it also has cleansing properties. I'm going to drop all the measurements on the screen. Make sure you stir this completely. Then we add in the next ingredient. This is our curling clay. This is optional. This is an additive. It's very, very great in polishing, cleansing, and detoxifying the skin. This will give us a smooth skin. It also fights breakouts and exfoliates the skin. It also moisturizes the skin. So this is optional if you don't want to add it, but I love adding curling clay to my bath soap that is made from scratch. Trust me, there's something I didn't tell you. I love using olive oil in my formulation, especially when I'm making baiting soap. Olive oil does the job. It smoothens like never before. Like so now I want to add in my light solution. Make sure it's cold when you're adding this. I left my life for a very long time and it's really, really cold. I'm adding this into my formulation because my oil is also cold. So I finished adding this. I'm just going to stir this. The reason why the color is like this is because of our curling clay. That's why the color is like this. But I still love this soap. This soap will come out beautiful at the end of the day now i'm adding pink color for this soap you could use any color of choice and please don't also forget to add your fragrance to this particular production so i added a little bit of pink color i saw that it wasn't giving me what i want so i added more you know i like i like colors so much if you've been on my channel for a very long time Guys, so many people watch these videos and they don't subscribe. How about support your girl, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. Remember, we are still on our bath soap series and this is the final one. And next week, we are going to move on to the next series. Don't miss out. If you don't subscribe, how you want to know? You're not going to know. 
we have good good things coming up guys we also say skincare hair care and lip care products make sure you patronize us and we ship worldwide us canada australia france nigeria ghana wherever you are buy from us so i took a little i scooped a little of this uh, soap already into the remaining color because i want this to be very very extra pink i do this a lot <laughs> so that you know it's a trick like i know how to do so so that i'll get a very fine color now i'm adding the rest of the soap in our mold make sure you add this as fast as possible before it solidifies and you know it's going to give us a very beautiful soap after adding this particular batch of soap I now added the one I mixed very well with a pink color. Trust me. Not be able to tell the difference when this soap is already done. It's not magic. <laughs> it's just something that I like doing. I'm not making a square soap, but this is just something I do whenever I add clay to my soap. I add pink uh, color in the middle. Just mix it up. At the end of the day, everything we, you have pink in all your colors like everything you can see brown right now but everything is going to come out pink at the end of the day now i finish uh adding my soap um i'm just going to dress it so that it can look beautiful at the end of the day last soap is easy and simple to make from what you just saw make sure you don't forget to add your fragrance i'm going to drop the measurement on the screen it's very simple and easy to make so you don't have any choice and say ah, I, I i don't know what to do try it now this is the next 24 hours because i have to leave this for 24 hours because it could process soap and you can see how beautiful i did not add any extra color i did not add anything but our soap came out like this this was the end product Haba, look at this thing. Is this enough fine? It's so, so beautiful. Thomas, we love this. Trust me. This is so, so fine and beautiful. And it's going to smooth in the skin. It will not irritate your skin at all. It's going to moisturize your skin. You know when you use some setting soap to bathe, you have this moisturizing feeling on your skin. Trust me. I'm not just saying it. You will have it and you are going to love it. And this soap lather so much. Lather test at the end of this video. How about like this video? Share this video with your friends and family. Look at how this thing is beautiful and it's amazing. And it's just few ingredients and easy to make, guys. See now, hard bar, very hard bar of soap, and to give you that luxury feeling. In fact, luxury feeling on your skin, guys. Let's do a lather test. I just added a little bit of this soap on my uh, bath sponge and you can see how foamy. There, it foams a lot. That's why I like using olive oil for my soap. It foams a lot. And you know now, your customers will love this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like this video, share this video and subscribe guys. Subscribe. Make sure you test this recipe and give me a feedback. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I love you.